I can't tell you how many weddings I've made for children and grandchildren. Most of them were fine. I mean, all the weddings were fine. <laughs> some of the marriages lasted, some of them didn't. The ones that I paid for, some worked, some didn't work. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Now I want you to tell me how it came about that Mr. and Mrs. Wilkinson paid for the wedding and your parents paid for the rehearsal dinner. Okay. Got it? Yes. With the exception of the DJ that you paid for. Okay. And your personal flowers. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Something that I can understand having been there innumerable times. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Didn't have the money to put down for the deposit for the venue, but I fell in love with it. We all fell in love with it. But I didn't have the money to put down for it. So Barb and Doug, they agreed and they were like, We have you. We got we can we can pay for you. So my parents, they're like, What do you want me to do? What do you need us to do? for our part. And I said, well, we need a rehearsal dinner, and they paid $500 for the rehearsal. So the Wilkinson said, we have this. Yes. We have the venue. Then your parents asked you, what can we do? Yes. And you said to your and parents, you can make the rehearsal dinner. Rehearsal dinner. dinner. Mm -hmm. Which they did. Yes. Do your parents and the plaintiffs know each other? Yes. So the parents know each other. I'm not saying they're best friends, but they knew each other socially. Are you telling me that you never, that before the wedding you never met her parents? Is that what you're telling me? Is that yes. what you want me to believe? I met her mother one time at a cake tasting, and I met her father at the rehearsal dinner. And we've never been to, a, to their home, a function with them, other than her, her wedding shower. I went to her mother's shop Just for a that. Second. So you went to the, sh you were invited to the shower? Yes. Do you know where I'm going? I there do. had to come a time when there was some discussion about who was coming to the rehearsal dinner? Who was paying yes. for it? You knew that they were paying for the rehearsal dinner. The rehearsal dinner got planned a month before the wedding. It doesn't matter. We specifically were looking at places that they could afford. This was the way that they wanted to plan the wedding. And they were married November 11th, 2017, mm -hmm. and they separated in January. Yes. You put down your first deposit when on the hall? Uh, November 29th, 2016. A year before? Yes. And in the one year, how many payments did either your son or your daughter-in-law make towards the wedding? None. Right. But they were <laughs> right. supposed to make it to the venue, not to us. The deposit was $1,000, and we forwarded them that money because they were also trying to buy a house. Right before we went to look at the venue, we had given Sarah money for a loan to pay off a bad debt that she had. Let's go. Let's move on. Well, that, we knew they didn't have the money for the deposit because that had happened a couple weeks before. And so they went, we found the venue, they got the contract actually, and then the coordinator couldn't reach them and said, hey, I don't have a contract or the deposit money to secure the date that you guys said you wanted. And I contacted Dakota and said, hey, if you want this date, if you guys want to have the wedding at this place that date, you need to go sign the contract and give them the money. Who picked out the flowers for the tables? I did. Who picked out the runners for the tables? I did. Yeah, you're gonna pay for the wedding. The fact I, I that mean, the marriage didn't, other than the fact that the marriage didn't work out, it, it doesn't have anything to do with the. It didn't have anything to do with the wedding. This was what they said they were going to do, and we paid probably other than just the venue amount, we paid probably four or five thousand dollars aside from that. They signed the contract with the venue. We didn't sign the contract. They made the agreement. You Dakota knew you another payment you, wasn't due. Second. You should have not let them take it off your credit card. Well, Dakota, Dakota no, knew, and I have the venue receipt. Me, don't tell me what Dakota knew. You shouldn't have let them take it off your credit card.